Dwayne Gilbert is a busy man. He works the night shift at a Utah coal mine, but spends his days feeding his animals and handling the usual dirty work. But there's something else that makes him one of a kind. Come on. Dwayne Gilbert is a zebra rancher, and he's been a success at it for close to 20 years. You know, a friend of mine in California years ago says, you really like horses. He says, try zebras. He says, you'll love, you just love zebras. And love them he does, often from the day they're born. Baby zebras are always in demand, mostly by petting zoos. And as they get older, these striped equines attract the fancy of exotic animal collectors. Is this a business or a hobby? It's not a hobby. I work for this. <laughs> And while other livestock markets go up and down, the demand for these colorful animals seems to be recession-proof. Zebras have been good, and the market has stayed steady for 20 years. And that was 20 years ago. Zebras are more expensive than the average horse. A stud commands around $3,500, a mare twice that. A full-grown zebra? Well, one of those can fetch as much as $10,000. There are only a small number of zebra breeders across the country. Dwayne's Utah Ranch is one of the few in the West. His wife, Colleen, helps run the operation. Ever had reservations about this zebra thing? <laughs> I've had reservations about all of his animals. And that includes Watusi cattle. Like the zebra, they're native to Africa. In fact, one of Duane's herds set a world record for the size of its horns. But it's the zebras that get most of the attention. Despite all appearances, this is no black and white job. Zebras are still wild animals, which makes them temperamental, unpredictable, and difficult would be an understatement. Come on! The family manages about 40 zebra here on the grassy plains of central Utah. These animals are built to run from their predators, but they've been known to run themselves to death into trees or fences. Dwayne's son, Jesse. They're high strung. They're not so much temperamental as high strung. They take, you don't want to get them running because when they start, they don't stop. That's another reason Dwayne screens prospective buyers. Usually people come here and pick them up. If this call want, came from California, deliver, but his license uh, allows him to sell anywhere in the world. You feed them hay, the, the upkeep on them is a lot like a horse. People that call and say, you know, I, I live in the middle of a city and I want a baby zebra or I want a zebra to put in my yard, uh, you know, I just more or less explain to them that it, it wouldn't be a fitting situation for them. Dwayne has found his zebras in demand, and not only in the United States. Some zebra ranchers in Africa have even used Dwayne's stock to improve their own herds. Yeah. Now all this makes Dwayne a big hit with the grandkids, and Colleen has a sense of humor about it all. Look around and you'll notice a zebra welcome sign, a zebra doormat, kitchen chairs in zebra stripes, and dozens of black and white figurines. It makes it easy for my kids to, or my friends, to find something to give me. Dwayne will tell you that zebras set his ranch apart, lively colored livestock quite unlike anything else. We raise for people to enjoy, and that's what they're for. It's not to, to make a, a lot of money out of it. Once you've owned zebras, it's hard to not own another one. I mean, just people love to have them around. 